You know in World of Warcraft when you're just minding your own business, killing a few mobs, happily questing away and you hear this noise? Yeah, that one. If you've played your fair share of WoW, you'll immediately recognise it. It's a warning, a sound effect that triggers when a stealth enemy has creeped so close to your character that you've been able to detect them, and usually that means if it's another player, a rogue or perhaps a druid, you're about to get ganked. It's a really useful audio cue, and one that so many of us have learnt to instinctively react to over the last 12 years, which makes it pretty good sound design, right? Well, yes, but here's an interesting thing. It only made its way into WoW in the first place as the result of a mistake. A quick thank you here to Blizzard's Jeff Goodman for taking the time to talk me through all of this step by step. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. In very basic terms, stealth in World of Warcraft is an ability that allows players to remain practically invisible to their opponents as long as they don't reveal themselves by either getting too close or by initiating an attack of their own. However, in this scenario, it's also possible for the other player to get the upper hand if they think there might be a stealth character nearby. They can try a few different things, actually. They might manage to get close enough to detect them themselves and do a bit of damage, which will immediately knock the other player out of stealth, but that can be quite tricky. So alternatively, they may use an ability that does damage within a certain area because despite being stealthed, the other player won't be immune to its effect. And once again, if the player in stealth receives any damage whatsoever, they lose the stealth buff. Or finally, if this other player is a hunter, they could drop a flare, which is an ability designed specifically to reveal nearby stealth units. And all of this helps ensure that stealth as a mechanic never feels too overpowered, because, well, if it did, we'd just end up with 10 million people playing rogues, and I don't think anybody truly wants that. However, this setup also creates something of a problem for the developers. Because with all of these options that allow you to fight back against players using stealth, if anyone figures out a way to hack the game and unfairly detect other players using that ability, it would be incredibly easy for them to take advantage of it. And Blizzard, obviously, didn't want that to happen, so here's what they needed to do. Let's say you're the one that's about to be attacked by a rogue using stealth. Your PC can't know about the other player until the exact moment they're close enough that you're supposed to detect them, because if it did know beforehand, and even if it didn't show you in-game, it'd be far too easy to exploit. Just look at what the modding community already manages to do with supposedly background information. No, that's not going to work. So instead, the Warcraft servers only tell the client, your machine, that this stealth player even exists right in the last moment. And that whole process led to an unexpected side effect when the team first introduced it to the game all those years ago. One of those weird, wonderful moments when you mess something up, but it actually sort of makes what you're working on a little bit better. It turns out, in that moment when your PC has just been informed for the first time that there's a stealth character nearby, it needs to generate everything from scratch. Name, faction, race, class, what level are they, what gear are they wearing, everything is recreated. And to the developer's surprise, that meant from the client's perspective, from your perspective, you're also seeing the character apply all of their temporary buffs and debuffs for the first time as well, which of course included the stealth effect itself. So that noise we talked about right at the start, that ominous whoosh, is actually just the same sound effect you'll hear when a rogue or a druid enters stealth in the first place. It's just from your PC's perspective, at least when they first introduced this idea, it was the first place. The character had only just been created and so it only just entered stealth for the first time. That's why you hear it. Now clearly the team has gone on to refine the way in which this works following that discovery, otherwise running into a stealth enemy would be really, really noisy as four or five different buffs are applied simultaneously. But they chose to keep the stealth sound effect being reapplied anyway, because in their mind it could help players recognise an incoming threat. It is that all-important audio cue, and they were totally right. It does, it works, and we all recognise it today. I like that story, partly because there's something sort of perfect about the idea that stealth as a game mechanic has to hide from both the player and also the machine they're playing on, and also that I find it mildly reassuring to know that the team behind the most successful MMO ever sometimes just stumbled into good ideas like the rest of us. There we are, a Eurogamer scoop on a game that came out in 2004. Listen, I'm trying, alright? I'm trying. If you enjoyed this video, then you might like to consider subscribing because do you know it's got spikes on the handle? The hilt, on the hilt, sorry, sorry. Um, you might like to consider subscribing because this is going to become something of a weekly slot on Eurogamer. Uh, the idea at the moment is that in 10 minutes or less, we will break down an interesting topic or story from the world of games and try and make sense of it. Sometimes that'll be big and daunting, like uh, a video I did a little while ago on why League of Legends is the most popular game in the world. And sometimes it'll be small and precise, like a single mechanic in a single game, talking about this video. Uh, yeah, if that sounds like something you'd like to watch, then do let us know because we'd rather like to make it. Okay, cool. See you next week. Cheers very much and goodbye. Ugh.
Oh god, it's so heavy. Fuck. 